welcome back and now we're going to do a checkpoint so you know the drill um, we're going to take these two th um, things that are given so we're told that tangent x is one third and we're told that cosine of x is negative right so use this two these these two pieces of information to get all six of the trigonometric functions the using the uh, the, the fundamental functions the six basic functions um, and then come back and see if you got the same answers I got. Okay, so go ahead and pause now and come back. All right, let's get started. So we've got these two uh, pieces of information, so let's use that to our advantage. We know that uh, co tangent is positive, right? It's one-third, and cosine is negative. Cosine is negative in which quadrants? Cosine is negative in the second and third quadrants. Tangent is positive in the first and third quadrant, so we know we are in the third quadrant. Okay, so this is happening in the third quadrant. Okay, so we know uh, right away we can use the reciprocal functions. We know that cotangent of x is going to be equal to 3, right? Um, we can also... Um, What else? We can use um, let's see, cotangent. Oh, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Um, let's see, tangent x is equal to sine x over cosine x, which is equal to one-third, right? So that would tell me, um, let me think. No, that's not going to work. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, let's do, let's use, let's use the Pythagorean, let's use the Pythagorean identity, one of the Pythagorean identities, okay? So, what do we got? Let's do, um, tangent squared x plus, um, plus one equals So we'll use this one, since we know tangent squared x, right? So all I did was, to get this again, was just use sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1, right? I just divided everything by cosine squared x. Okay? So that's how I derive that, right? So if you don't have it memorized, just derive it. All right. So now this is going to equal what? This is going to be one third squared plus one equals secant squared x, right? And so this is going to be one ninth plus one, which is nine over nine. 
not one tenth. Right? And so this is going to be equal to 10. Right? 10 ninths. And so that means, now here's the thing. Um, cosine is negative, which means secant is also going to be negative. So that means secant of x is going to equal what? It's going to be equal to the square root of 10 over 3. The square root of 10 over 3. And it's negative. Okay? And that means what? That means cosine, right? So cosine x is going to be negative what? 3 over root 10, which again, we're going to have to write as negative 3 root 10 over 10. Okay, <laughs> so we got um, we got tangent, cotangent, cosine, and secant, right? So we just need sine and cosecant. Well, if tangent x is equal to sine x over cosine x, right? And tangent x is equal to one third, which is equal to sine x, which cosine x is equal to negative Um, 3 root 10 over 10. So that tells us sine x is equal to, actually let's bring this, let's simplify this to what it was before because this is going to be negative 3 over root 10, right? So that means sine x is going to equal um, what? Negative square root of 10 over 3 times This is, no, that's not right. I'm multiplying both sides by this. So this is going to be negative 3 over root 10 times 1 third. There we go. And so this is going to cancel with this. And we get negative 1 over the square root of 10. Right? And then, of course, cosecant is then going to be equal to negative root 10. But obviously, oh, let's go back to sine. So we want to write this as it's going to be negative root 10 over 10. Right? To rationalize it.
That's it. We got them all.